the reason why I'm here. Uh, we had an opportunity to do was to go over and uh, meet the lieutenant general that's running multinational force there in Baghdad. Uh, but when you listen to multinational force, um, you have to really look at it. I, I saw it more as uh, Marines, Army, Navy, um, 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 Coast Guard, others that are there because there are very few boots on the ground from other countries in Iraq. Um, and, and that's almost going back to the beginning of this war, this whole coalition um, that was mainly the Brits and U.S. contractors. Uh, we have to look at that um, as we continue on with this new debate that's um, going to be coming up here in Washington. Well, I, I think it's important that um, stay engaged on what's happening here in Washington, even now more than ever. I think that the Bush administration is trying to put forth an environment to say that it's okay to vote $50 billion without a real timeline. I think the point of it's good to have goals. It's another thing to have um, timelines. Um, mayors have to show accountability for the federal dollars that they get within a timeline. U.S. taxpayers, you know, have to pay their taxes at a given time with their timeline. Um, everyone has a timeline. Everyone has a benchmark, um, a benchmark that means something, um, that's supposed to reward good behavior, and when you fail, um, take the, some of those dollars back. Um, the only way to deal with this is to deal with the funding of a continued war um, as we see it now. And I think that as we move on, I know me, for a member of Congress, it has to be a real timeline in getting our troops home. Not a timeline of saying, you know, two, three, four years or what have you. A safe timeline for draw of our troops from Iraq and turning them over to Iraqi forces, letting them know that this is the date or the, this is the timeline. Within this timeline, it need to be weeks that we're going to hand this part of Iraq back to you. We expect for you to be able to hold that line there and deal with it with backup forces when you have these militias that come in and, the, and insurgents that come in to try to take over said areas. The American people are asking for our troops to come home. I think that should be the goal of the Congress for our troops to come home. Um, I think there, there are some members of Congress who feel that we should be there as long as we need to be there. And I think that when you start looking at billions and billions of dollars that have been spent thus far on this war, and then with the president just yesterday asking for an additional $50 billion, as though I was to ask you for, you know, let me borrow $50, um, I think that that's the kind of attitude uh, that, that has been um, allowed to uh, take place here in Washington for far too long, and we need to bring an end to it.